Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day in this video. I want to show you guys how to triple coin mine Ergo, Caspa, and Zilliqa. This is a new version of G Miner, which just came out 3.21. And this supports Zill mining via the ZMP protocol. But the big thing here, not only can they do dual mining, right? ETC Zill, Ergo Zill, Caspa Zill, Ravencoin Zill, Cortex or Zill, BTZ and Zill. They can now do triple coin mining mode here, Ethereum Classic, Caspa, and Zill. Then we also have Ergo, Caspa, and Zill, which I will show you guys an example. Uh, right now I have two different mining rigs, a 20 series mining rig, also my 30 series mining rig here, uh, which I will show you guys how to do it. It's, it's pretty easy. It's nothing too convoluted uh, like we did with the BZ miner to basically kind of trick you know that we're mining ethereum classic for radiant and zill but now g miner basically has it natively here which the flight sheet you can enter in all the regular parameters here so very easy let me show you how to do it in hive os there are two different parameters here that you will have to put in the custom setup miner config okay so once you do i'll just show you guys out here first once you do the ergo uh get your ergo wallet get your your pool that you want to mine to and then under dual coin, you'll want to click on Caspa. Okay, dual wallet, right? Put your Caspa wallet. And then dual pool is the Wooly Pooly or whatever Caspa pool you want to mine to. Then in the G minor minor part here, you want to go set up minor config. Everything is going to be the same here. You'll probably have to go to second coin tab and make sure you click on heavy, K heavy hash. Uh, this might not be selected for some of you. But anyway, go back to first coin tab and then you'll want to enter in the extra config arguments dash dash zill server and also the dash dash zill user all right so this is where i have mine mining to shard pool which i will show you guys examples uh, later on this video we'll go through also some profitability for those that care about it for myself i'm just i'm hodling the coins so it doesn't really matter to me but i'll go through anyway for anyone that cares but anyways let's go through here okay so just put the pool all right the pool that you want to mine to for zillica and then you just have to put your Zillica wallet and that's it. You apply changes, okay, and update. And that will be your flight sheet that you will want to use for if you want to triple coin mine Ergo, Caspa, and Zillica. And it is the same way for if you want to do Ethereum Classic, you would change Ergo to ETC, get your ETC wallet and uh, your ETC pool. Now, maybe for some Windows users out there, I didn't forget about you. Okay, so if in your batch file this is the readme for g minor it will be the exact same thing all right you'll just have to add in these two parameters okay to the batch file for those that are mining in windows so just be sure to add that to your batch file when you do that okay pretty easy i'm sure that's the same way that it should work for not only in hive os but for windows users as well okay and yeah that should be good to go now a couple things i did have some issues and i don't think it was because of g minor but it was mainly because of maybe my rig i was on an older kernel version so i had to update uh, to the latest version uh, kernel of linux uh, number 110 and how i did that and i don't know if any of you guys will have to do it or not but i did run the command hive dash replace uh, dash y and dash s okay this is just to update the kernel okay not the the mining software which uh you'll also have to do after you update to hive replace okay uh you'll just have to update to the latest version but as well uh, if you wanted to also run the latest version of gminer you will have to run this command as well okay so get your flight sheet up and running first before you do that run command and then i put it at the run command at the top to uh, basically uh, run this command to update to manually update the G minor 3.20 to 3.21 because Hive OS does not have the update yet. So if you're watching this video after the fact, Hive OS will most likely have it. All right, they'll most likely have the latest version uh, 3.21 updated on their change log. So then you will not have to do this command here this manual command to update from 3.20 to 3.21 so hopefully you guys understand that and then i did try some extra parameters to see if i could get down the efficiency and it really did not work okay so the extra parameters in g minor i did try to use their dash dash lock c clock and also their core clock offset and also lock memory clock 
and uh, it didn't work at all. It wouldn't start up. I was reading through G minor's readme and they do not have where in BZ minor, you can actually distinguish the first and second algorithm overclocks, right? In BZ minor, you can do that, but that was with us doing in dual mining mode. But with triple coin mining mode, G minor doesn't have anything like that yet, as far as I know, okay? I try to look for any like second algo overclocking. Uh, it didn't see anything like that. So it wouldn't work for me. So instead, okay, instead I'm using the web GUI for me, the overclocks for my 30 series rig and also my 20 series rig. So we are using a little bit more power, yes, but we are, you know, garnering three different coins here, which I'll talk about the future prospect here in a second, but I'll just show you guys the stock settings, the stock power I was using for my 3090, all the 30 series cards here. And you guys can see the hash rate I was getting on Ergo, 230, 214, and so on. Then on Caspa, I was getting 923, 856, 757, obviously. We're using a lot of power here, but that was at stock, no overclocks, nothing, okay? Using a lot of power. And then I tried changing it to just manual power limits, and you can see how much hash rate uh, we have dropped down. Um, basically, yeah, we're, I mean, we're saving a lot more power, but we've also dropped down in hash rate. Not too much, but I would say the Caspa hash rate has only dropped down maybe 100 to 150 per GPU here. But not only are we getting Ergo, right? We're getting Caspa and then we're also getting Zilliqa, which uh, I'll, I'll go through the numbers here in a second. So I just want to quickly show you guys here as well. I've recorded this uh, at the same time just to see how it transitions to mining Zill because Zilliqa mining only happens like one or two minutes every hour and a half. So it will come up with this. You can see uh, it changed it to the Zill DAG, making the Zill DAG and getting the job for Zillica. But at the same time, it's also mining uh, Caspa as well. And so I thought that was pretty, that was pretty cool. So you can see here, my hash rates for Zill, they're very similar to like, you know, mining Ethereum before and uh, or Ethereum Classic. So those are the hash rates. And then if we go to now where it stops mining Zill, it'll just say stop mining Zill. And uh, yeah, you can see the hash rates kind of just stop going down. They start going down, stop Zill mining on GPU zero and so on and so forth. So that's that's how it works. And it just goes back to mining, you know, Ergo and Caspa. Okay, and then just to show you guys my uh, overclocks in the web GUI here, this is what I'm using for all of my different 30 series cards you can see here. And I just want to also just kind of have a little throwback of when I was mining Ergo just by itself. So I remember doing a video, it was a good, three months ago and we were using the lock core clock of a, of a thousand and this is where on my 3070s for instance I was getting around 150 mega hash on ergo all right at about 100 watts and so now here we are today I'm getting about 151 at about 125 watts but we're also garnering an extra right 302 mega hash on caspa and then we're also getting zilliqa as well okay so you can kind of see, right, that extra 25 watts or so, we're getting a little bit more, you know, we're getting Caspa and Zilliqa for that extra little bit. But I would say with Zilliqa, it's kind of, I, I don't know, it's not like dual mining or not like triple coin mining because uh, Zilliqa only happens, again, like I said, only, you know, once every hour and a half for like one or two minutes. So, you know, maybe that's like worth less than an hour, maybe 40, 50 minutes a day of Zilliqa mining. So you can factor that in as like one hour of kilowatt electricity a day just for uh, Zilliqa in a way. But anyways, here's also my 20 series rig for anyone who wants to mine uh, for triple coin mine on 20 series. I found that Ergo is not that great on the 20 series cards, but actually Caspa is pretty decent on the 20 series cards. Uh, so it kind of makes up for it in a, in a way. But yeah, Ergo not great on 20 series cards, but it's yeah decent on 30 series uh, more so I think uh, the efficiency level here is on the 3070s, as we all know. But, okay, so just showing you guys that anyway with the different GPUs that I have here. Okay, I'm not using the special parameters, okay, but just, just the web GUI, uh, just the overclocks here, just to let you all know. Okay, so let's just go through now. Um, I'm showing you here on the Ergo pool for two miners that, yeah, on the pool, it looks to be pretty good. It's not a full 24 hours as of recording, but uh, it's good six hours, seven hours now of doing this test. So yeah, it is showing on the pool side, a woolly pooly for Caspa. Let's see here. It is, yeah, also showing up here as well. 
And then on shard pool, okay, for my Zillica, looks like I got paid 22 so far. 22 Zillica after about uh, six hours, seven hours. So if I just do 22 Zillica here, that's about 35 cents, right? 35 cents extra after six hours. So if we times that by two, let's just say roughly I get about 90 Zill a day off these two rigs. That'll be an extra dollar 46 though okay let's do some little just profit for those that care about profitability want to make sense you know not work we're gonna lose like a couple dollars a day here but let's just see i added the k heavy hash which is the caspa hash rate also all the ergo hash rate that i can achieve on both of these rigs okay both the 20 series rig 30 series rig so also the power consumption, which uh, these rigs are both in Octa Miner, so I can see the true power consumption for these two rigs here. Okay, so I've added those together as well into what to mine. I just put them all in the auto Lycos one. It doesn't really matter because uh, I'm just going to do a calculation here at 10 cent kilowatt hour. Okay, so I'll do that. Calculate. So let's add up the revenue here. $1.82 plus $2.37. That's going to be $4.00. 20 cents. Okay. So 420 minus then $4 and 49 cents in electric. Okay. At 10 cent kilowatt hour. So then I would be minus, I would, I would be minusing about 29 cents. Okay. This is with only Caspa and Ergo. I didn't even equate the Zillica yet. Okay. So I technically would get roughly, I would say just, just a guesstimate, right? About 90 Zill a day. All right. Then we get a dollar, another dollar 46. So if we plus dollar, 46 oh, 46 we would then be positive about a dollar 17 roughly all right just just a guesstimate at currently 10 cent kilowatt hour and if you had anything lower then you would be a little bit more profitable uh, for those that care but you know for any <laughs> i don't know anyone who can who's actually you know really liquidating every single day these coins if you were to mine uh, if i'm mi with i'm mining these two rigs right if i were to do that you know every day then sure wh why not make a buck a day but to be honest for me the future prospect here you know having the diversity of mining three different coins on a single rig and then hodling all that and just waiting for you know one to pop off and or maybe all three could pop off in the next bitcoin cycle who who knows right because you know right zilliqa has gone up many times before ergo has also gone up before and also caspa they recently had a huge i guess a uh, a development fund for faster transactions right so that's something pretty cool so right the long-term potential for all of these coins and ergo right maybe some people love ergo some people don't like ergo but like i said before right having the diversity of mining three different coins and uh, with zillica right you can also stake it as well right i stake it personally uh, using through Ledger, uh, Ledger Nano X, and then it's not native to Zillica wallet, but you have to use the Zillit web. Uh, basically, it's just, you know, having your Ledger uh, Zillit.io, make sure uh, you are on the correct website. And uh, you can use the uh, Ledger wallet here uh, to have your Zillica and then stake your Zill on Zillit.io here, which is pretty cool. So triple the threat here of having three different coins on one rig. And yeah, I mean, currently, I think this is pretty cool. I mean, as I guess more and more people figure this out, but I think like I've said before, as we're in the bear market, not many people are watching my videos. So uh, this may be just fine, right? I'm, we're probably not going to make a dent at all on the, uh, the, the difficulties of Ergo, Caspa and Zillica, especially. So we'll see how that goes so let me know if you guys are gonna do this or not or if you're just gonna stay the course mining flux or you're mining that raven coin or maybe you're dual mining raven coin zill or maybe cortex there's a lot of different coins out there a lot of people are mining so maybe you know it might not be imperative for you to switch anyway it might not make sense and just stay the course of the coin that you believe in for now but hey this is a pretty cool little thing here i i really like this but not financial advice you guys do if you would like on your own time do your own research all that good stuff Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.